Hello everyone. Today we will talk about what happens to prices of gold in a recession. We will explore how gold normally performs when economy is not growing but actually contracting. Also, we will try to explain why it behaves the way it does, especially during the late stages of recessions. I think this is a very timely topic. Today we saw gold drop below 1800 mark on strong dollar. There were other reasons. Recent decision by India to increase import duties from 7.5% to 12.5. India imports somewhere around 30% of global gold production so any news from India will affect gold prices. Another possible reason for the drop in prices of gold is expectation of another rate hike by Fed in July. I would also list a growing unease with government bonds in European zone and Japan, making dollar a safer alternative. I don't know about you, but for me it is a decision time. If gold is about to go up, I should be buying. If gold is expected to go lower, I should be waiting. Full disclosure, I am not a financial advisor, following are just my opinions. Why do we expect incoming recession? Latest Atlanta Fed data predicting economic contraction for the most recent quarter. Two consecutive quarters of GDP contraction typically defines economic recession in US, and it will be the second quarter in a row. So we are almost there. Why are recessions feared? Most of new investors are not familiar with consequences of economic downturn. Recent one in 2020 was very brief and very mild, thanks to extensive assistance from governments and central banks. Normally, recession would mean steep decline in equities and assets, massive unemployment, bankruptcies, layoffs and it usually lasts for a while. In 2020, government issued enough money to businesses and individuals to not only survive the downturn, but actually caused a huge run in equities and assets to the levels that can be described as bubble. This is not a new strategy. This approach was used since the beginning of the century, and it did work pretty well. Since it worked so well in a recent past, specifically since 2000, it is fair to make assumption it will be used again. Now, money printing solution to the recession does not solve long-term problems. Recessions are actually useful for the business cycle. During recessions, weaker businesses and debt are purged and economy can start anew. But again, protracted recession will not win any elections so I do not see any political will to take the pain. We will see the same tools used again. Since I think the tools used will be the same as last three times, I will use data from the last three recessions to make assumptions about what happens to gold in this upcoming recession. We will take a look at some charts to explore historic precedents. First, we will take a look at the recession followed.com bubble. Recession is shaded with gray on the chart. It officially started around February 2001. At that time, Federal Reserve Chairman Alan Greenspan acted decisively, easing monetary policy by slashing interest rates to zero. Every recession is different in some ways. Main difference between now and then is inflation. In 2001 inflation was right above 3% and now we are looking at latest inflation of over 8%. Another difference is debt to GDP ratio and budget deficits. If you can believe it, here in US we had budget surpluses around that time. But while you would think the use of easy money in the inflationary environment would be a no-no, the fact that we have no other tools available leads me to believe that Fed will use easy monetary policy as a way to avoid recession again. As you can see, beginning of the recession marked the bottom of the decline in a price of gold in 2001. It worth noting that stock market and the price of gold are leading indicators of a recession. Gold drifted downwards following the stock market crash. Today, gold actually remained flat, while the stock market declined. In my opinion, it was due to inflation and geopolitical concerns. But it also might mean that the gold is primed for an extended run upwards, given the tailwinds I described above. We will see, this is just a speculation. But back to recession of 2001. Gold went up in price after US have entered recession in 2001 and continued a good run for a few years thereafter. Whether it would do it again remains to be seen but if we see another round of easy money, it's reasonable to assume somewhat similar behavior of gold. Now, let's take a look at recession of 2008. In the recession of 2007, 2009, gold was technically in a bull market, which basically started during the previous recession of 2001. It went from around $400 to almost $1,200, tripling in a course of eight years. We can say that during recession itself, from 2007 to 2009, gold remained flat, with exception of a dip in October of 2008 which was caused by liquidity squeeze during Lehman Brothers debacle. It worth mentioning a pattern of gold behavior in a liquidity crunch. In 2008, when banking system almost collapsed, gold was one of the very few liquid assets remaining. That is why it got sold off, 
bringing price of gold from around $1,200 to a $1,000 neighborhood. These dips historically short-lived and represent a buying opportunity. Now, it is hard to say when you are in the middle of a crisis if you are at the bottom, or you are catching a falling knife. No one can predict the absolute bottom. I stick to scheduled purchases. That way emotional element of decision-making is mostly removed. Greed, fear or fear of missing out are not the best guides in deciding. So again, with exception of a short dip caused by banking crisis, recession was a starting point for another bull run in gold in 2008 recession. Finally, let's take a look at the latest recession of 2020. This recession was by all measures a very short and mild one. It was mostly policy-based and not, technically, caused by a business cycle. Gold moved sideways during the recession and attested historic high immediately following end the recession. Let's summarize all this data. All these recessions were different in nature and duration. But we can argue, gold has performed in a very similar fashion, especially when we look at a big picture. Basically, recession served as a medium-term bottom with gold going higher thereafter. Let's think about reason. Gold is a commodity. Long-term trends are driven by supply and demand and will affect the direction of the price movement. But gold is a special type of commodity. It is a monetary metal. It reacts to monetary policies probably more than to a supply-demand dynamic. Now, let's talk about how the current monetary and fiscal policy makers react to a recession. They usually respond with easing of money supply. It can be done by dropping interest rates or by directly injecting cash into the economy, but the result is the same. More money in circulation. This is a reason for gold price increases following recessions in my opinion. The chain is very simple. Economic downturn leads to issuance of more money, that in turn, leads to higher gold price due to the currency debasement. Simple indeed. I think we will see the same playbook this time around. Fed is rushing to raise rates to have more tools during the upcoming recession. Fed clearly knows we have negative GDP readings coming up. They have more data than anyone else. They are trying to get some runway to use rates to stimulate economy again in a very near future. Hence aggressive rate hikes. Inflation narrative is also important. But I think the need for tools to deal with recession is even more important objective. Inflation would be more affected by removing of the excess liquidity than rates. That leads me to believe rates are a part of recession preparedness plan. No one can tell for sure what will happen this time. Strength of dollar due to weakness of euro and yen can make gold go down in a short term. Collapse in Italian bond market will definitely cause another shock for financial system of the world pushing gold sharply lower just like in 2008. The system is overstretched, and any new event can cause severe reactions. But long term, I think Fed will have to flood the economy with cash again to get economy out of the recession and that is where gold will shine again. These are just my opinions and not a financial advice. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe. Until next time.